you can validate the data entered into a cell and display an error message if invalid data is entered. You can add data validation to either a single cell or for a range of cells. The example worksheet, first two columns if you want to allow entry of whole numbers only, select all cells in the first two columns, click on data tab, in data tools click on data validation, the data validation dialog box is displayed. Click on settings, click on the allow drop down list. Click on whole number. Now click on data drop down list. You have several options like between, not between, equal to, etc. Based on your selection, Excel changes the parameters it accepts for the validation. For example, if it is between, it asks for minimum and maximum values. If it is equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, it asks for the number you want to compare. For example, select between. Now enter a minimum and maximum value as 1 and 100. You can see ignore blank checkbox. If it is checked, then Excel allows to leave the cell as empty and doesn't validate it. If you want to display an input message whenever a cell in this range is selected, click on input message. You can enter title as valid values. In the input message, enter 1 to 100. If user enters a value other than 1 to 100, you can stop and display a hard error message. To do this, click on error alert. Enter title as invalid value. In the error message, enter valid values are 1 to 100 only. Click OK. You can see any cell selected in the range, Excel displays a input message valid values 1 to 100. Try to enter an invalid value like 110. You can see Excel displays error alert message as you entered in the data validation. Excel will stop you until a valid value is entered into the cell. If you enter a decimal value also, even though it is less than 100, Excel displays an error message because it's not a whole number. You can see the error message is displayed. If you don't want to stop the user, you can go back to error alert and make it as information only. Select the data range again, go to data validation, in the error alert instead of the stop, select information only, information, click OK. Now Excel displays a message but it still allows to enter the invalid value.
click OK, you can see the invalid value is entered into the cell. But you can also disable the error alert so that Excel won't show any message and allows to enter invalid values. Select the data range. Go back to data validation. Clear the checkbox where it says like display error alert message. Click OK. Now Excel, even though it has the validation for this range of data, range of cells, it allows you to enter invalid values. But if you want to identify the invalid values in the range of data, Excel allows you to circle the error values. Select the data range. Under data validation, you can click on circle invalid data. Then you can see Excel circles the invalid data. The decimal value data validation is similar to whole number validation. You can see the next two columns. If we want to allow only decimal values, select the range of data. Click on the data validation. And in this time, under settings, select decimal value. This also allows you can enter a range or a specific value or a between greater than, less than or equal to, etc. for comparison. For example, select less than and enter the maximum value as 5. Click OK. Now, if you enter a value greater than 5, Excel displays an error message. Since the error alert is not set up, Excel displays a default error message. But Excel allows you to enter a whole number which is less than 5, like 2 or 3, any value, since it is considered as a valid decimal value. There is one drawback with any of these Excel data validations. If user, instead of entering a value, if he copies the value from a different cell in the worksheet, then data validation is not applied and Excel copies the value even though it violates the data validation.